Hello, how are you? Long time no see. It's been so long since I've done a visual, if you will, intro to a video. Hi, I'm Nikita with Just You Soap Company. And today's soap that we're going to be making is the last soap in a new collection that we have called a, the Sweet Treat Collection. It has four soaps in it. It has a Yanni soap. And then the other soaps are just some just wonderful smelling soaps. They have a variety of fragrances with them. They each have a uh, fragrance oil in them or fragrance oil blend in them. The uh, Yanni soap has a peppermint blend. Uh, the soap that we're doing today has a blend that has uh, banana fragrance, strawberries, a little vanilla fragrance in it. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to visit us at JustYouSoapCompany.com. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. If there's anything that needs to be linked, it will be linked in the description box. So as always, be blessed, be in peace, and remember to be just you. Hello, how are you all doing? I hope that you're doing well. So uh, today we are going to be making the last soap in our sweet treat collection um and it's going to be um a what did i say i was gonna name it banana pop bomb pop i can't remember the name uh, but <laughs> it is going to be a yellow and brown soap i've got all my soap cut up um here's a quick fact or a tidbit you may want to use so one of the colors i'm going to do is yellow so this is three pounds of soap um and what I've done, which is basically a pound and a half of the our blocks, um, but we had some yellow um, uh, in bed soap already. So I cut that up and it was actually a pound. So I cut it up. I'm going to use it and then probably add a little bit more yellow to it just to uh, give it more color because of the uh, half a pound that I'm using of the clear. Uh, but if you have embeds that are a color that you're using and you're not doing anything with them at the moment, which we weren't doing anything with it, so I used it in this soap. So that's something that you may want to keep in your back pocket. So what I'm going to do is melt the soap down um, and then I will come back. Well, actually, I'm going to melt it down. I'm going to let it cool down some because I want it to mix, but I don't want it to become muddled. So I'm going to go ahead and um, melt it, color it, put the fragrance in it, and... Um, then I'm going to pour it. I'm going to only put this color in the brown part of the soap because um, it does have um, banana linen in it. And banana linen, after, if you, when you use the, any fragrance that has the vanilla, I can't pronounce it, but the vanillin in it, um, when you, um, I'm pronouncing it wrong, but at any rate, when you use it in your soap, if you use it in your soap throughout it, if you have lighter colors, over time, it's going to turn brown. So if you have a darker color in your soap, if you're doing a two-color soap, it's best to put it in the darker part so that um, when it does turn brown, you won't it won't come through in your soap unless you want it to look like that. Okay? So I'm going to use it in the brown part because I don't want the yellow part to become brown. There you go. So again, I'm going to melt the soap down, let it cool down some, and then we're going to come back and we're going to pour So I have um, the base that I'm going to use for the brown all melted. And instead of doing um, the swirl, I'm going to do layers. So I'm going to put, it doesn't matter which one I do first, but I have a liquid fragrance, a liquid fragrance, a liquid uh, coloring that I'm going to put in it. So we're going to do, I just squeeze it in there till it feels right. <laughs> And then I'm going to stir it. We're going to see if that gets it. The color that we want. That's a pretty good brown. What do you think? Okay. And then... <clears throat> I have uh, the monkey farts, and we're just going to pour it in there. 
Um, and then I forgot to say that it has a flash point of 153. So that means that if you do anything higher than 153, that it's just going to burn the fragrance off. You don't want to do that. I already used the heat gun. It was a 148. So it's below the 153. So we're good. I'm not going to let it cool down all the way because um, I'm doing layers. So um, because I'm doing layers, then I just have to wait for the first layer to get hard. And then I'm going to do brown, yellow, brown. Um, okay. So I have that stirred in. And then um, I'm going to put just a little bit more. Not too much. Because I want it to really be brown. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to put a little bit of shea butter in here as well. So give me a moment and let me put a little shea butter just to give it a little extra moisturization. And then I'll be right back. So now let's um, do our next layer of yellow. The bottom layer is hardened enough. I didn't melt it. Um, I melted it just enough to do this layer. I'm going to get that out of there. I melted it. It just has a little lumpiness in it. I'm going to get it out. Okay. Uh, let's stir that in there. Hopefully it won't come out again. If it does, that's okay. We'll just, let, we'll just leave it because guess what? It's soap. So... We're doing half again. And I think I did more than half, but well, almost half. Okay, so there we have that. And then again, like I said, because all we're doing is layering. So um, we're going to go ahead and let that finish. And what I'll do is I'll do the next two layers. And then I'm going to save a little bit of this yellow. Um, and then I'm going to drizzle the top because the top is actually going to end up being brown. And then we'll... Um, I'll show you that, and then after that, we'll do a cutting. So here we are back. Um, this layer is, that is already hard enough is the last yellow layer. So now I'm going to pour the last brown layer. I've started again. Um, I've already sprayed alcohol on this layer so that this layer will, will adhere. And I'm just going to pour it in. Nothing fancy. And then what I'm going to do is let this layer harden. And then once this layer gets hard, I'm going to go back and put a yellow drizzle on top. And I'll either... Well, no. I'll put a, the yellow on top. And what I did was... I, did, I just saved some yellow. You may not be able to see it, but there is yellow in there. And I just saved a little bit of it so that I can melt that down and drizzle it on top. So I'm going to spray this with alcohol and then I'll let that harden. And then once this gets hard, then I'll come back and put the yellow drizzle on top and then we'll cut it. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to drizzle the top. Um... I've actually already drizzled the top. I thought I was recording and I was not. And this has already gotten hard. So what I did was I drizzled the top of the soap. Uh, I sprayed it with alcohol. And now once it gets hard, we'll I'll cut it. And you, you should be able, I'm hoping you'll be able to see the yellow on the top as the drizzle. Because <laughs> right now you really can't see it because of the brown and it's dark. So you can't, so because it's dark. So you really can't see the drizzle. Even if I tilt it, you still can't see it. So once it gets once it gets solid, then I will cut it. I thought I was recording and to show you the drizzle, and I wasn't. So I'm sorry about that. Before you put a drizzle on your soap, I will tell you this: be sure that you spray with alcohol. Do your drizzle, then spray with alcohol again. You always spray with alcohol first to because it helps the soap base adhere. Okay, so or helps your soap adhere to the previous layer. So there you have it. So again, I'll be back to show you the cut. 